Well, we have a new plate. Looks like this. Why in the world am I doing a video about a license plate? Well, let's keep watching. We'll see. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you followed me for any length of time that you know that I have had disabled veteran plates on the back of my car, handicap plates. Now, those plates are gone as of today and I wanna just talk to you about, this is a really silly video, I wanna to talk to you about why I had those plates and why they're now off of my car. Let's go. So we are here with Rob. You can follow him in, on Instagram. I'll link it all down below. But this is his GT350, and we are about to install a really sick custom modification to his car. He's brought it to me because he knows that I know what I'm doing, and you're going to love it. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe. Turn the no bell notification on so you don't miss that video. It's gonna, you don't want to miss it. It's, it's a new part. Part. It's a new part doesn't exist yet. Nope. He's the guinea pig I and am. it's it's gonna be sick But what we want to talk about today is not that we are gonna film it today But you got to stay tuned is why my disabled plates are gone and now we have this new one So we got the old Iraqi freedom there uh, did serve in the army if you didn't know for about 14 years and uh, I got out medical uh, did uh, two trips to Iraq. They were both 15 months each and then two trips to Afghanistan as a uh, Ford Observer 13 Fox so combat arms guy and uh, Anyway, those plates are gone, but why did they exist? So basically I had these plates on the car because when I first got out I was a little bit messed up. I did have I do have a still to have a disc issue I've got a sciatic nerve thing going on and ultimately what ended my career was that plus a foot surgery that left me pretty much on crutches and a cane for a while and then uh, you're a veteran too Rob so you know all about you know what happens overseas and all of that um, so my heart goes out to everybody that is serving has served and will serve in the future um, just take care of your bodies and then hopefully when you get out you know the VA takes care of you for me it's been an, a, a uh, for me it's been better um, things are, are healing a little bit we still walk around with pain and a limp but anyway back to the plate why did I have that well I mean that was it's simple I got out and I was hurt and you do have to you know they don't just give them away no. you do have to medically qualify for these plates and if you guys live anywhere near like a military installation then you know all too well that uh, DV plates can be a very common thing and you have one too right I do but you got hurt I did yeah I did and so I want to really just bring this to you guys attention a lot of people will hate in the comments about you know this look at this douchebag he's got a sports car a Mustang this that and the other even if it's a manual automatic it doesn't matter he's got disabled veteran handicap plates you know but the, nobody cares to understand the backstory and I think that this is why this video is important so yeah those plates are gone and the reason I got rid of the disabled plates is mostly because of YouTube growth yeah the DMV lady the uh, um, clerk's office there you go thought it was just the silliest thing in the world to actually get rid of a permanent plate and go back to something that I have to actually renew every year and pay money for but you know it's still a military plate but I've never also never been the guy to you know go park in front of like Walmart and take up you know those those handicap places when people need them you know if I can walk around on my own two feet which I do you know that I, I really do choose to do that some people do have like handicap plates and they weasel them way their way into it but if you have a DV tag specifically you know they're pretty adamant about uh, you know checking you know all the paperwork making sure that you qualify medically for that stuff but that is ultimately why I had that plate on the back of my car but it is now gone um, you know I, I just figured that with the growth of the car the channel everything like that as we start to mod you know who knows maybe this thing will be in like a magazine one day or something like that something really cool and uh, I just think that um, you know when people see the, the DV plate for YouTube purposes it's kind of detracts away from you know I just don't want to be I just want to, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, I'm just trying to be, I guess, a little bit more nor normal, maybe? More to the norm, yeah. more the gray, the gray area, the gray guy. Right, right. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much what's going on with that. Um, yes, I'm still hurt. Uh, there's, there's, 
the sacrifice that you know veterans you know of all the different branches um the sacrifice doesn't end when you get out um so when they say sacrifice you know it could be that you know some of these guys have given their lives in combat and they're not here anymore i have friends i know you have friends that are just not here anymore uh, they paid that ultimate price but as far as medical sacrifice that stuff will follow you can follow you you know up until you you pass away unfortunately you know that you could live to be 30 years old and you could live to be 90 years old and some of those injuries you know can just just haunt you um, but you know we're gonna play the normal people game for a while and we have our regular plate and that is ultimately what is going on so we're talking about one of the reasons that this is kind of a headache is like car events when you go up to like even just like a cars and coffee or maybe even a local event and people are like what in the hell why do you have a handicap plate on the back of your 350 or your mustang gt or whatever like that should be on the back of a minivan with you know a ramp for a wheelchair yeah if you're really hurt and you're in a wheelchair I mean that that really sucks and that is one of the reasons why unless i am completely handicapped that day you know i can't walk um, i'm not going to park in one of those places it was a free tag i qualified for it he qualified for it that's the end of it um that's that's really all it really is to say about. I mean, that's it it's not a typical you know handicap tag on there you obviously says disabled veteran yeah um you know, we got hurt downrange, or so be it, doing our jobs, and uh, had to get out medically wise. You know, 16 years later, two back surgeries, and here I am. I couldn't fly helicopters anymore. Said I had to medically retire. Yeah. So you know, I had to get out and qualify for the disabled tag. And you know, I have my good days and bad days, also with my back. But uh, like you said, I don't, I don't jump to, to take those handicapped parking spots away or anything like that. It's just a tag. It's just a tag. It's just a tag. It's just a tag. And uh, it's, it's there if you need it. Um, but most days we don't, we just suffer through it. Cause like 16 years, 14 years, um, you know, I got hurt early on as far as all the way back to like early Iraq and then just lived with it and kept going. Like my medical paperwork is like, I know yours is the same. Yeah. It's about like that. You just push on. You, I mean, that's what they teach you. And then just, just suck it on, up, suck it up and keep going, you know, and you end up doing more, more harm than good. But I mean, yes, that's you true. get to a point to where you just can't suck it up anymore and that's it you know now now we're having to deal with the, the problems that we had in the military for the rest of our lives yeah so there it is guys so don't ever think this it was a tag but uh for everybody out there um yes we have regular plates on the car now unfortunately but uh i think that that's just you know people they talk on the internet and everybody everybody thinks that their opinions are like the standard yeah and uh but nobody cares to understand the backstory and i've actually talked to some of these guys in the comments about uh you know the breakdown of what happened this that and the other and then there's either silence or nobody cares or whatever but you know this is for you um this is why i had this place and this is also why they're not there anymore just so i can just be normal and not hear about it anymore and i'll just live with it but whatever life goes on so there it is we have normal plates back on the car um I think it's it's going to be fine. You know, as people see this all over the internet now and they see the name Xander 13, you know, they're, they're going to see this display. But that's always been a question. Why do I have, you know, handicap plates on the back of my car? And I think that honestly, it has detracted a little bit on YouTube a little bit. I think that it has cost me some subscribers. So we're going to play the normal people game. We've got our normal plates on the car now. We're going to renew them every year. And uh, if you want to see them, better they just get a military plate um, but that is what it is so we're going to quit rambling but hopefully this will clear the air uh, thank you to all those who serve we are veterans here i live near fort campbell in clarksville tennessee you guys probably all know that i'm just gonna you know it's where we live but um anyway you guys stay safe on the roads and i'll see you next time love your families love your dogs and your cats and all of that god bless see you later Happy holidays yeah christmas is coming up so merry christmas
<laughs> oh my god, the thing is loud. Oh man.